So let's see, what was it a year and a half ago about? Brave Worship um, went with Ray and Denise Hughes to Ireland, and we were joined by people from all over the country. And it was such a, it's just such a delight to get to go over there. Yeah, I met you guys uh, for the first time that, that day that we wrote this song. And um, the, a guy called Noel, Noel Kenny, who started started Liberty Church. Um, but one morning, Noel really felt like like the Lord brought to his mind this, this these verses from Song of Solomon, um, which which speaks about the winter is gone. It's, it's, a, it's a cause like arise, my beautiful one, um, which were lyrics that, that made their way into the song. But the way they did was that Noel, um, he felt this was like a prophetic word over our church. Um, and the story he told that day before we kind of went off to go and write um, was the story of our, our community and our, our church. He'd grown up in an area of Dublin, right where the church was, where the song was written. Um, and uh, that, that area he's described when he, when he grew up was full of singing. So when there were kids, they'd go up on like summer trips and they'd be singing on the buses going there. And he talked about dinner dances that the parents would go to and they'd come back late at night into the community, like singing Frank Sinatra songs, like walking up the balconies and just to be in like a joyous place. Um, but then at one stage, like heroin came into that community and like, devastated it and and it's like the song was robbed the song was robbed from the community and um, in fact i think you described that uh the only time then that they would be singing was at funerals that like their dances turned into into dirges you know as families were set at odds as you know people were dying from hiv and aids that came through within it just the community was was devastated um but in the middle of that Noel and his wife Sharon uh, became Christians and started a kids club in the place and so that day as, as I remember it anyway Noel told that story and uh, that really sparked um, what we were about when we got together to write this Sharing that um, his story the scripture just totally ignited a fire in in my heart uh, the Lord was reaching into my heart and just like grabbing it it was just like my heart began to beat my heart began to beat so it was, it was just it was incredible how god used that and, and i think that pastor noel speaking um if i could say this for all of us like what he had shared had just really ignited something in all of us so we were able to bring that uh, rob was just like just sharing his heart you know scripture after scripture thought after thought and so it's just a real beautiful process writing this song i'll never forget it it just really emulated not by my not by power but by my spirit says the lord and um and then there was this one moment, Rob, I don't know if you remember this moment, but Em and I really remember it really well. So it was like the, the song had really taken shape. The song had really taken form. And then there's just this one part in the song where like, oh, it's just like you're on the precipice, you know, of like getting it, getting it. And then Rob just spells out, the time of singing has come. <laughs> and I you often- like, Yes! That's <laughs> it! At the end of the service that day, and it guys, it was, a powerful service um, but at the end of the service um, I went up to meet Pastor Noel and uh, he said Jenny he said I have to tell you something he said when I when I saw you walk into the room today I felt like you're coming home and he said and when I saw you he said I remind I was reminded of a vision that I had had years ago and he had said um, in my vision he said the tall ships were leaving Ireland people were leaving because of the famine people were getting away um, and and what he didn't know was that I was Irish. He said, but at the end of this vision, he said, I saw the ships coming back. I saw people coming back to the land, a symbolism of the Lord restoring what was lost, what the enemy had tried to take away. And then he just began to pray that what was lost would, would be restored and what the enemy had taken away from my family that God would multiply and return it, which really goes with this scripture and with this song. It was just, just the whole, all of it packaged together is so prophetic. Um, it just says, arise, my darling, my beautiful one, come away with me. See, the winter is past, the rains are over and gone, flowers appear on the earth. The, the season of singing has come. The cooing of doves is heard in our land. The fig tree forms its early fruit. The blossom vines spread their fragrance. Arise, come, my darling, my beautiful one. Arise, arise, my beautiful one. Arise, arise, to the glory. Arise, arise, the winter is gone, the time